Um, how did you just get here? What was the, the trip like? I know it was just a quick trip from Flint to Saginaw, but then collecting your things and getting back across the border, getting to Peterborough, what was that process like? Yeah, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty easy, honestly. You know, it was a tough goodbye to say to my billets in, in Flint there. I've uh, had great billets there, and say bye to the boys was tough as well. I've been there for four years, so I've built, uh, I've built a lot of good friendships there over the years, and um, I was able to get to say goodbye to them again the other day, and... Um, and then just packed up the car and headed back to Pickering, and my dad and I drove down, uh, drove down today, and um, just got some got some things for the weekend and get me through the week. And it's about a 50 minute drive, so it's nice and close, so it's not too bad. How how nice of a feeling is it just knowing that your family? I know we saw the tweets that you put out there were alluded to your family and you wanted to be closer to home, but how nice is that for everybody now to have you in? The Kawarthas right beside the Durham region. Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, I wanted to be close to home. I mean, over the years, I've been I've been playing a lot of hockey, you know, around the world, and especially going to Switzerland. So my family hasn't seen that many games, uh, that many games. So uh, due to the COVID last year and not being able to get across the border, so um, you know, it's, that's just a big part of it. Why I wanted to come play in Peter Rose because it's only 50 minutes away, and um, you know, they get to come to a lot more games. And my dad was saying. Going to uh, Pickering to Flint's about a thousand kilometers back and forth, and you can go. Uh, you can come here Thursday, go to Mississauga on Friday, and back home, and it's not even 500 kilometers. So, um, so you know what? They're pretty happy, and it's going to be going to be exciting. All right, just uh, one more thing for me. Uh, when you did get to that dressing room, um, you put on that jersey. You saw your new jersey. What was it like meeting all the new guys, the coaching staff, and uh, GM Mike Oak? Yeah, it was great. I mean, it was a quick turnaround. I think I met the guys for I think ten minutes after the game in Flint, so um, it was a pretty quick turnaround. It was uh, it was a good game, and Saginaw obviously not the outcome we we wanted, but you know I thought it was just good to get my feet wet with the, the new team and the guys and the systems and stuff like that. So um, it's a lot different than uh, in the Flint in the way the Flint plays. So I'm um, excited to get down here and, and to learn. You mentioned Switzerland. Uh, did you you played there with Mason McTavish? Did you lean on him at all before you made the decision? Yeah, I texted Mace. Mace also texted me. You know, we share the same agent as well, so uh, obviously that swayed a little bit. And you know, Mace had a lot of a lot of success here. So um, yeah, I talked to Mace beforehand, and I want to get his thoughts on Peterborough and you know the guys and the staff and you know the living situation and, and all that stuff. So um, yeah, Mace definitely played a big uh, big sway in this. Team goal obviously is to win the championship, but what personal goals do you have coming into Peterborough? Yeah, I think you know I'm just kind of focused on the team goals. I think I want to I want to win a championship, and that's my thing I set out to do when I was 16 years old is to get to a team to help them get a championship. I think that's the the goal in in Peterborough here is to win a championship. We got all the pieces to do it, and I think just for me is just just learning to be a pro, and I want to play in the NHL next year. But right now I'm a, I'm a Pete, and um, you know the goal is to the goal is to win a championship and to win a Memorial Cup. One of the greatest rivalries in sports, Pete's Generals. You're going to uh, see them on Thursday. What do you know about that rivalry? Yeah, I know it's pretty big, obviously. You know, I, I've only get to play Oshawa twice a year, and this year I already played them once. So we had a big, big rivalry just like this in Flint. So um, I get the stakes are high, and I get that the rivalry is big. And you know, there's a lot of fans that come from Oshawa down to Peterborough, and Peterborough to Oshawa. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be fun. So I'm, I'm super excited for Thursday night. Uh, Brendan, just, I know you touched on it, but what was it about Peterborough? Because so we've had some other players say they didn't want to play here for the Peets before, but what was it at Peterborough? What did Mason tell you uh, that you wanted to come to this organization? Yeah, well, M Mace, is a, uh, Mace is a very particular guy, so um, he's very superstitious when it comes to a lot of things as well, and um, especially in Switzerland there, he's, he's very particular with his things, and I know when Mace doesn't like something, he'll, he'll say it, and when Mace likes something, he'll, he'll say it as well. So he, he spoke nothing but uh, great words, and he said nothing but great things about, uh, about Peterborough and um, about the team, the staff, and everything about the organization and the city. So um, once I knew Mace, Mace said those things, I know that you know it's a great town to play in. And um, I mean, I came to watch games when I was a kid as well. I watched Oshawa and Mississauga and Peterborough games. and. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great rink. I played the cross here when I was a kid, so um, yeah, it's a, like I said, it's 50 minutes away, and that's not just because it's 50 minutes away, it's also because we have a really good team, and we're really excited, and we're going to build, uh, we're going to have a good team, we're going to build, uh, build for the end of the year. Do you have a other friends on this team, or other guys that you've played with before? Yeah, I know a lot of the, the 03 age group on the team. I know uh, Lockhart, uh, Tucker, uh, Stillman, I know Jack, a little bit, Van Volsen, so um, I, know, I know the goalie simmer a little bit, so I know I know a little bit of the guys, the core guys. So 
Um, it's going to get to get a couple weekends to get used to everybody and get used to the systems, but it's part of the game and it's why you play. So it's good to build these friendships and relationships. Yeah, exactly. I know you just sort of got here, but how does it feel to officially be here and be at the PMC? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I, I honestly came, we came back from the gym and um, I just kind of just took a took a walk around the rink and I know maybe it, it, some players may not like playing here, but you know it's a, it's a nice rink to play in. It's a small rink with you know, a lot of fans that can fill up the rink, so it makes it feel like a, it makes it feel like what's well, like a I don't know how to say it, but an, like an NHL kind of environment with all, how many fans are here and the tight space. So um, yeah, it's 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 a nice rink, and, and you know I'm really excited, and the facilities are good, and the room's nice, and um, you know I've been able to see a little bit of the arena too, and it's uh, it's nice. I'm enjoying it so far. No, uh, last year you uh, had a fantastic season with the Flicks. Uh, you know, a lot of goals scored, and you know that's what you've been known for, and that's kind of a big reason why you were brought in here to Peterborough. So, what does your play style uh, bring to the table for the Peterborough Flicks for this season? Yeah, goal scoring, a little bit of grit as well. I'm not afraid to uh, stick up for teammates, hit and uh, block shots. So, um, I just want to fill up my game as an all-round player as well. Work on my 200-foot game more, and um, yeah, I like to say I'm a goal scorer. I like to put the puck in the back of net for sure, but. That's something that uh, that I'm very lucky to have. That I'm, it's a good skill of mine, but also I want to work on the other things like blocking shots and you know D zone game and stuff like that. So I think just an all around player who you know you get to you'll see hit and and forecheck and score goals and you know have good nights and some bad nights, but um, but you know that's part of the game. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm I'm really looking forward to Thursday night and and the uh, weeks to come. And, you know, you were drafted by the New York Rangers last year, the 16th overall, and that's, you know, that sets some pretty high expectations for you, you know, and, uh, from the Rangers and from here in the Pete since we traded pretty heavily for you. So what do you expect to, to do for, you know, development here for the Pete to kind of prep for the NHL? Yeah, just, just learn from, uh, from Coach Rob and learn from Mike and, you know, the different players that have been here around the league and, um, or around the team, excuse me, and, um, you know, stay in touch with Mace because Mace has played here as well, so Mace knows what they're expecting. And um, you know, I've played with a lot of pressure in the past. I've played with some doubters in the past. So um, to be able to to do that, I mean, pressure is not that big of a deal to me. I mean, that's why it's another reason why you play is because you love it. And I've played a lot of pressure moment games and a lot of big games, and um, I seem to come up big in those moments. And um, I think that's also another, another good quality of mine is. When there's pressure, when there's a game on the line, that I kind of take my game to another level, and um, that's, I think that's another reason why I'm why I'm here as well. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm I don't know if I'll emphasize this enough, but I'm super excited to get started here. I'm just gonna ask quickly uh, yep. when you're walking around the rink, touring around, were you able to see any of the banners with some of yep. those big names and take in a lot of the history as well? Yeah, I was able to. You know, like I've said, I said in one of the first interviews, it's got a rich history and. Um, it's super important to this organization, and you know I'm a big history guy as well, and um, my favorite subject in school. So um, history is uh, super important here, and um, yeah, it's, it's great looking up and seeing the banners and stuff like that, and the, and the retired numbers and players. It's it's something really cool and special, and like I said again, I'm looking forward to playing in front of that Thursday night. Did you know Ty Bowling were number eight here? I did not. I did not know that. So it's good. Uh, good fact. Good good fact. To learn yeah exactly. <laughs> So, so, yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Deal with us all.